says it's time to set the outpost free, inflict as little damage as possible as you make your way through to the rival captain. If you can, you should try to convince the captain to give up the outpost and join your cause. They're ready to enter the outpost when you are. Every step you take towards your end goal will bring you closer to a better world. Here's the first line of defense. That's a bomb lobber. Spot wrecked it. A barrel shoot. Smack it to get a barrel out of it, then hit it toward the gate and blast it. That looks slowly. Shoot it and watch it blow. Not too close, though. Give it another try.
You're in. Keep going. Here's the second line of defense. Smoldering already. Give it a good smack. Almost there. The post belongs to your tribe now. He says you made them weep, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. Thinks you did a great job capturing the rival's third outpost, and believes the rival is weak enough to engage them at their fort. They all hope you can lead them to peace. The mountains tower above any tree.
Should have gone for a bigger size. says the gates will remain open for you as long as you support the tribe. Says you should take it easy. Get things done before the darkness falls again. Says it's about time you figured out you can't avoid helping anymore. Says you're welcome back.
energy is all used up. You're low on health. Misery. Flash the slash. That's an old home, or what's left of it. Rubber scrap is too much fun, so stretchy. Never thought I'd see a twing twang from the back in time again. It's an apparatus that jingle notes. Wonder if it still works. You need to give the tensioners on the machine head a matching adjustment to get the twing twang in tune. <laughs> that sounds delicious. You're full of pluck. Oh, that's rare. Too bad, but all days must come to an end. Let's see. They've been waiting for you. Taking control of this fort will bring peace between your tribes. You better be. A tribe's fort is a bigger challenge than an outpost. The plan is to fling you over the wall with a sling lobber. However, he wants you to secure a hard hat first, should anything go wrong. It's better you go and find one for yourself. It can't be too much trouble, though. It's one size fits all.
Heads up, that's Peak Spot, a great place to watch the world from. Who knows who might be watching you? Tapped hard. Feeling mighty low. The mountains are so ginormous. Something? A ring dinger from the yesterdays. A thingamabob used to pling signal the faraways. Let's find out if it still works. You need to get the keys in sequence. So, the technology from yesterday's is still here today, even if its message is getting old. Everything is at stake. Step back, world.
That's the Vruma. Go, beastie, go. It's time to set the rival tribe free. Inflict as little damage as possible as you make your way through to their Sifu. Convincing the Sifu that peace between your tribes is the only way you'll all survive won't be easy. He doubts the Sifu will give up without a fight. That's a fire starter. The dry grass looks like it would ignite easily. You just need to create a spark to light a fire. It burns brighter than the light. This won't be a f it's the real thing. Placed. 
the night feels dangerous and exciting. Great. There's so much you could build. Couldn't be better.
Stories keep moving whether you drive them or not. The battering bonker looks like a great way to get through the gate. Bet you just need to knock and it'll open up. That's bonkers. The Netra tribe this values liberty cruel. and is striving to protect freedom. They Most want to continue with each well, tribe being responsible for their own and believe that uniting Rah, the tribes is the Rah, only way you can survive. He was hoping it wouldn't end this way. There's no reason to fight instead of uniting. It would be fighting over nothing. He'll fight for what matters. Today, he'll fight you. But tomorrow, he hopes to fight by your side. The rival Sifu is defeated, and the destiny of their tribe is in your hands. What? You are free to choose their fate, but not free from the consequences of your choice. What? He'll leave it up to you to decide the fate of the Sifu, but suggests you be merciful. Do good, and good will follow you. Thinks it's a good gesture to offer support to others when you can see that they need it. And with that, you're spinning your own fate, good or bad, never to be undone. Side by side they'll stand until order and stability is reinstituted. He's gotten news that the other tribes have realized there are no winners in this war. There's no purpose in antagonism. The way he sees it is that you've been forced into opposition. Your tribe didn't start the war, but it's fallen to you to end it. 
It's clear your efforts have been successful. There's light at the end of the tunnel. The tribes are tired of war and will remember the one who brought them peace, whether you decide it'll be now or later. So, do you want to end the war now or continue the crusade? He agrees. Better save your energy for something meaningful. The mountains are closer to the sun, yet colder. It's the Netra claw chain. He knows things that you need to know. Says talking to you was interesting. Oh no! Rain!
If you close your eyes hard enough to reality, your mind opens to let memories in. That's one way to remember what's forgotten. When an unwanted memory intrudes on the mind, it is a natural reaction to want to block it out or just change it. However, there's no doubt that what you remember makes your future different. So, you remembered the automaton's power-up feature. That's a boost. Feels like something's about to happen today. Thank you.